year was one of the funnest tours, I think, because of how many bands we, A, admired, and two, were just friends with that were on it. There's camaraderie, there's drama occasionally, but none of us last year. But um, there's uh, heat, water, um, they have golf carts at summer camp, right? But like, it's a big party that travels like a circus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to those uh, marinara sticks. <laughs> The cool thing about Warped is you get to tour with a lot of your favorite bands, a lot of your friends. And uh, while they weren't on it last year, a band we toured a lot with is Thrice. And I know they had a really great run on Warped. So I heard a story that they had ambulances That's running awesome. around while they were doing it. I think yeah. we're going to copy their idea this year. Not do ambulances, but do a hearse or something. On um, Warped Tour last year, one of our favorite bands to watch yeah. every day, one of our favorite bands to tour with um, and hang out with and everything. I like working out with them. And working out and shopping for comics is Taking Back Sunday. Yeah. Um, probably one of the greatest live bands ever. Yeah. That's the cool thing about Warped Tour. It's like, you, you sometimes you play with bands that you never played with before, but then sometimes you play with a band that you always play with and then you just get to hang out more. Yeah. My favorite thing about Warped Tour is that I get to see the Bouncing Souls every day. I don't know what it is about that band other than they're just amazing and their songs are just so uplifting and I could sing every single word to every song they've ever played. And I would go over there and sing my heart out uh, next to the stage or in front of the stage or behind the stage or depending on how they would let me get to see the band that day and then go play a show. When I think of Warped Tour, I think of watching the Bouncing Souls every single day. The good thing about Warped Tour is it makes you lots of money. <laughs> solely about the use because now they can afford gold Nikes. Because I was hanging out with Jeff the other day. He has like diamond plugs and does he really? Yeah, it's sick. Damn, it's gold sick. Nikes. Gold Are they Nikes? real gold? gold? No, they well, look gold. They're, they're sick. So uh, the use is a band we toured a lot with um, back when we were starting out, and you know I, I heard that year they played. They owned Warped Tour too. Yeah, much like that famous Sunday. picture with him with the mic in his mouth. He's crawling up the... Oh, yeah. oh yeah, and you yes. see all so the kids good. down yeah. there. Yeah, I love that picture. There's a lot of bands from New Jersey that have made their mark on Warp Tour, and one of those bands is uh, Census Fail. Yeah. Good friends of ours. Good They've made, they made huge drunken footsteps on that tour. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Our bands kind of came up the same time, yeah. us and Census Fail, both in Jersey, both in the same counties relatively, and we just took two different paths, and uh, it was great. It was kind of like Warp Tour for us and them was meeting up again. And uh, it was kind of like playing catch up and being like, oh, what kind of crazy adventures and people try to screw you over have you gone on? Warped Tour is great because you can, you play with a lot of bands you um, have maybe never met before, but you like a lot. And this year there's a band, uh, The Transplants. I, when we did K-Rock Weenie Roast, yeah. which we actually yeah, was a couple days ago, in the past. Um, I walked past Travis Barker and he went like this. Whoa. So, man, that's big. Huge, man. Yeah, we're friends. So we've met half the friends. <laughs> you guys are meet him. I can totally introduce you. One of the best uh, experiences for me was meeting Heath from Midtown. He's just like a great guitar player. Comes from like the same school that I come from. Uh, loves heavy metal. Loves like the same guitar player as I do. And uh, I had a lot of fun with him. Like we would get together in the dressing rooms and like jam on like Metallica songs and stuff. And he would actually come up um, on stage and play uh, an older song from our first record, Head First for Halos, because like he he wanted to play with us so bad that he wrote like a, a harmonized guitar solo thing for for something that I did, and he would play with us. And it was just awesome Great. having three guitar players up there. And and hopefully um you know hopefully we can do that again sometimes. I had a, we have a lot of fun with him, man. and the whole band is great. The first Warp Tour show I ever went to was when we played it. I had actually really? never gone to Warp Tour. Wow. Yeah. Maybe younger have the fortitude to put up with a festival all day. Dude. I don't know how those kids do it. I really yeah. don't. Like, I remember going having the best time of my life. Would you stay for the whole show? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah when I, I would go. Imagine. And, yo, yeah. you come home with, like, bags of garbage. <laughs> like, a hundred, mid, no, two hundred. Bad religion stickers in an epidemic bag, <laughs> like for no reason. Yeah, you get so much stuff and like, you know, flyers and and free YooHoo T-shirts because you were one of the idiots that chugged like a whole case to get a free <laughs> YooHoo T-shirt. You don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. There's a lot of things that people try to get you to do on Warped yeah. Tour. 
Punk your phone? Sure do. Yeah, punk oh, up your phone. Why is my phone punk? Oh, jeez, where did I you go You don't need night? to chug Yoo-Hoo this summer. Yeah. You don't need to stack punk Oreos. your phone. Don't, don't stack any stack Oreos. Stack Oreos. Um, make an idiot out of yourself. You yeah. don't need to do any of that stuff. Go to Warped Tour with a really open mind. Go there knowing that you're going to see all kinds of different people with all kinds of different backgrounds and have way different beliefs than you and that's really the beauty of it that even the bands on the stage have a different belief than the guy in the front row. You need to just go and have fun.